Hello YouTubers, this is Tammy with Elevated Living Today and a part of this segment. This is a part of um, my dish that I was speaking of that I was liking to make. This is one of my go-to dishes for my raw, um, one of my raw meals. You can eat it pretty much any time of day. Sometimes I make a big batch and I eat um, it in portions of three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. Um, and in here, this is my little ninja blender. It don't have anything fancy, but this is where I am. And in here, I have um, zucchini, tomatoes. I have some of my raw tahini um, sesame seed. Let's see. Um, yeah, my raw tahini is uh, made out of sesame seeds. And I have cayenne pepper and also this is something that I use this is a vegan you see that a uh, vegan miso ginger uh, seasoning it's like a salad dressing that I purchased from <clears throat> excuse me from Publix and this is basically mostly all I use for my Salty seasoning is pink Himalayan salt. You see it's almost done. I use this a lot. And I have my cayenne pepper. I use this a lot as well. When I Since I eat raw, these are really my two go-to seasonings here. The pink Himalayan salt and my cayenne pepper. And this is actually the um, tahini sauce that I use and mostly I use this for blending I never hardly ever use it just in this natural state I usually put it and make it um, I usually make my own hummus uh, with chickpeas but today I'm doing just a little sauce to put on type of my um, spiralized zucchini and I told you guys this is what I have in here so I have onions um, cut up zucchini, tomatoes, a little bit of the tahini sauce, and this is also to give it some flavor. I barely use these. Well, who am I kidding? I have a couple jars over here. I catch them on sale at Publix, and I usually try to go to an area where I know they don't have a lot of vegan or um, individuals that would use this, so they keep them on sale in Publix. You get two of these for pretty much the price of one. So. That's that, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. much it and let me see if I can give you guys I'm trying not to make a mess oh wow the consistency on this is not too bad I really didn't bring over anything to scoop it out of here but oh well waste it out oh actually that tastes pretty good but the consistency in here is pretty creamy and it has like an orangey look and that's from the cayenne pepper but this is actually, it tastes pretty good. I just licked um, a piece off of my finger. But in the next segment, I'm going to take you over and show you how I spiralize my zucchini. So just one moment. Hold on. Hold that thought. Hello, YouTubers. This is Tammy with Elevated Living to the Bat today. And I am back with the second portion of my video of my... I have to name this this dish my zucchini dish. That's what I'm gonna name it. And here I am going to spiralize. Um, I have one zucchini that I've already cut the top and the bottom off. And I do leave the peel on. Is it the healthiest? They say that um, I'm leaving. I leave mine on because the green to me, you get more um, nutrition. So I don't take that off I don't peel it and then I have another half of zucchini here that I am going to spiralize and to shorten the video because I'm so lengthy I've already cut up 
some tomatoes and I do have another one that I think I'm also going to uh, cut up as well and I have some onions that I cut here and I pretty much um, eat my onions fresh and whole like this I mix them up in my uh, sauce that I made earlier and this this sauce is good okay and now from the video I was showing you guys that these are the uh, salad dressings that I get from Publix and Today I emptied out my miso ginger um, pretty much today for the um, sauce that I'm making. And I have, what well, this is ranch and they're all vegan. They're all vegan. This one was blue cheese. I keep my jars because I use them for my juicing. This is honey mustard and they're all vegan. And I usually get those from um, uh, Publix. Publix is the one that has them. Publix has a lot of vegan foods and I love their veggies and um, as well because they're fresh um, they're good and fresh I like the fresh since I have a an Asian market that I like to go to and purchase my vegetables from uh, save money that way um, this is pretty much what I use as my cooking oil if I do saute any veggies I use grapeseed oil and sometimes um, when I am making like a sauce such as this one, I put in um, olive oil. Did I have that out here somewhere? It was here. So it's on the table over there. But I'll use olive oil in there because <clears throat> being raw, I try to give myself some type of fat because I'm losing a lot of weight. You can see my stomach is... I'm slimming up a lot and I don't want to get too too skinny so I try and use um, my oils to give me something that fat keep me uh, like with some fat good fats or avocados um, I love 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 those and oh and seeds sunflower seeds um, pumpkin seeds and my uh, tahini sauce that I use which is usually made from sesame seed but those are pretty much in one thing you kind of know if you can see my blender over here not my blender my juicer over here oh in the corner but I juice a lot and I got some uh, ginger back here that I juice later but right now we're going to tune in to what I'm going to do here is show you how I spiralize my zucchini and what I do is just um I don't know if you can see that this comes this little gadget comes out I press it up against here like that and it's and it was holding once upon a time and it gives it some stability and there is a blade in front and this is real simple this is something that I ordered off of Amazon um, and it suction cups keeps it stuck to the countertop so it doesn't move and I can just spiralize away <laughs> and get it going fast here because it can take forever but a lot of time my days are going so fast and if you're going to eat healthier a lot of times it does take work and some prepping you know um here I have a little bowl here I'm trying to keep it simple because I don't like to make big messes sorry you guys okay and this is what is left over and I cut it up and I put it in my food and I eat it because I am not a waster or I would have put it in my sauce if I hadn't already got my sauce prepared before getting this ready okay and this is the other half of the zucchini and I put that here and I don't try to do this is really my go-to dish because to me it makes me feel like I'm eating a pretty um, normal uh, common dish per se. Um, it's simple, it's easy because I'm really not a good, uh, should I say, uh, one of the major cooks, one of those women that loves to live in the kitchen and cook up a lot of dishes anyways because I have older brothers and sisters who cook for me um, when I was younger. But however, I did learn to cook so that I could survive of course and 
here is the other portion of that. So I am going to move this out of the way. It unsuctions. And since I am right here by the sink, I am going to put this in the sink. And I can clean that up when I'm done. And this blade slides out. Let's put that there, clean it, and this lifts up and just put it right there in the sink. So here, what I usually do is go and um, I'm sorry, just cut these and make it because I don't like mine too 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 sloppy when I'm eating. So I go ahead and cut those to shorten my strings. And since this is my food and I'm gonna eat it, I can put my hands on it and I clean my countertops before we started this. So I'm gonna stop throwing my food away and put it in the bowl. <laughs> and here, I usually just cut these up because I am not trying to be wasteful. Not at all. So I cut this up in here, moving quite fast like. And I have a small, put that down here. I have a small cutting board I purchased from Ross. I think that I had something on here. But I have a small cutting board that I purchased from Ross. And I am going to cut up my tomato. It's a pretty tomato. Very pretty. And finish dicing it. And these I'll just put on as my topping. Um, I did blend one. Um in my blender so that's pretty much uh, why it is orange as well I said the cayenne pepper but I did put one tomato in there and I'm just gonna slide this into my heart shape bowl that I have with the rest of my tomatoes and I'll sit this here until after I am finished and I have a bowl I'm in a plate that I have here, a little small bowl that I um, purchased from the Dollar Tree for one dollar. And here we go. Said too much information. Just put that in there, right in the plate. And for my uh, my onions, I just put them on top because I like to me it gives it flavor since I'm not eating a lot of different kinds of foods. And, and then I will top it with my tomatoes. And I'm going to put them all in here because I have another container that I'm going to put these in. This is a lot of food. So this will probably do me maybe two servings. Um, in which I'm going to make it go for two servings. And put this on here and you can mix it in, mix it up. And then the sauce on top. But I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? Because this is a lot. So, I'm just going to take some out of here and put it in my bowl. Because I'm not going to try to put all of my, I'm not going to waste my sauce just for this video. No, no, no. Um, here we go. Not all of my sauce anyways. Okay. See, I'm trying to get some onions. I love my onions. I didn't use, I usually use a ton of garlic. But for some reason, I didn't even think to put any garlic in here. But I am big on using garlic. I usually use a ton of garlic. Okay, that's it for that. And then to top it off, my sauce. My zucca. I don't know what to call it. It's my, yes, I gotta give it a name, but um, this is my zucchini tomato uh, sauce. <laughs> okay, and just scoop that out and put some on top. And if you wanna give yourself in, uh, more textures and make it more crunchy, you can add um, That is good. You can add um, 
uh, some type of nuts or seeds to it. Uh, almonds, walnuts, walnuts is one of my go-to nuts. Yes, I love walnuts. And um, uh, Brazilian nuts, you can add any type of nut. Pumpkin seeds, I love pumpkin seeds. Um, you can add that, but that is pretty much how I prepare my zucchini dish is something that's real simple and it's simple and it's easy this is my little heart dish here and it's real simple very easy get one of those tomatoes on there see i try to cut it so it's not so long and stringy it's good i like it I love it. And that's why my taste buds have changed because I've been eating mostly raw now for about ever since um, the first of the year. So mostly raw I've been eating. This is good guys. So I'm going to cut this portion short. Uh, thank you for tuning in and and eating this way to me eating raw how it ties into healing I'm gonna do another separate video I'm just gonna leave this segment for the part where I um, make this food but I'm gonna do another video as you know this is 21 days of healing restoration and elevation eating foods that are alive raw they are alive make you feel vibrant and alive of course so um tune in to the next video i love 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 you guys and i hope you love me back Mwah. love you till next time bye now